I'm glad you're with me today. I want to uh, talk to you about some miracles and some things that happened and the progress uh, or progression that caused me to um, to be here today and to uh, be a, a minister of the Most High God and to understand the Bible and some different things. I don't know how many parts this might take. But it's a, it, there's a lot of information here, and it's it's going to be interesting if you are a believer in God, even if you're not. Um, it's going to be interesting. So, you know, when I started out in life, you know, as a young guy, I knew there was a God. I didn't know how to reach Him. I just believed that He heard my prayers, and I would pray, and I would ask for forgiveness and ask for salvation, and that you know that's the minimal. Um, and God was hearing me, but I wasn't hearing God. And, uh, I, you know, I got older. I, uh, did almost 10 years in the United States Navy, went through some terrible things. Um, I had gotten stabbed and, uh, everything else. And, um, I, uh, got out of the Navy. I went through some marriages. Nothing went right. Um, I realized I was in bondage. From Lucifer, you know, when I was a child, I knew devils were attacking me. Um, you know, some kind of, it's discernment, some kind of uh, um, curses, you know, uh, put on me and my family. And um, so I think a lot of people are in these same situations and they, they progress into wherever they are today. Um, you know, I end up doing tattoos at one point in my life. I had tattoo shops. You know, I was uh, I was jobless at one point. I prayed for a talent, and I started having dreams about doing tattoos. And I seen myself tattooing myself. And later, I did it. Um, that was my first tattoo work, and uh, I ended up opening tattoo shops, and they were successful. And at one point, I knew I had went to churches, and I couldn't find God. So I'm taking many years. I'm going to bring you up to speed to where I'm at today. Um, so I, I couldn't find God after many years. I realized it seemed like God wasn't in the churches, and I didn't know why. And um, the anointing of God, the presence of God came into the tattoo shop one day. It's such a long story, but uh, I'll try to make it really fast. So people that were even devil worshipers and witches and you know, witchcraft is done by the power of demons, and we all should know that by now. And people came into the tattoo shop talking about Satan and everything. When I started praying to God uh, profusely, let's say, um, uh, Satan was sending people in, and, and they were high priests and high priestesses of Satan and trying to stop me from praying. And a uh, long story, but... The anointing of God came into the tattoo shop, and even at some point, there was a point where I would pray for people, and God would slay them out and start casting out demons. And God started speaking to me about anointings and using me in ministry. And I knew nothing about these things, but I, I was reading the Bible. And the biggest uh, thing that happened to me at that point, that one point, I was reading reading uh, Mark chapter 16, verses 16 through 20. Those who believe will cast out demons, will speak in other tongues. You know, if they lay hands on the sick, the sick will recover. Um, things like that is in those scriptures. So it started happening. Um, and God started speaking to me, started talking to me. And uh, it progressed from there. And this has been uh, oh, uh, since um, 2020. I mean... Uh, 2001 so this is 2024 this is 20 23 years into this um and i see miracles i prayed for a man yesterday god did a lot of different healings in him you know god is the same he doesn't change he's saying the same yesterday today and forever i know you hear that a lot but it's real um so you know god is our healer and he wants us to be healed and wants us to seek healing you know, what happens is we got to take his word literal. You know, God told me the reason he doesn't respond to the Christian churches 
in general, um, as a as a whole, in a, in a way, and, and as individuals, sometimes because they don't speak in truth. You know, we got to worship God in spirit and truth. We got to speak to Him in truth. And secondly, people need to be about um, God wants us to be about His business, not our own. And our own own opinion doesn't really matter that much to God because God is about Himself. If we can understand those things and seek those things and work miracles and ask for miracles through that understanding, God will respond. You know, I started hearing his voice in the tattoo shop. And before I thought I knew that God spoke to me, but wasn't sure, um, you know, God started, to, he started, the Holy Spirit came up on me. I started speaking in tongues in the tattoo shop. Um, I actually seen the Holy Spirit and uh, seen the Holy Spirit come into me. And it was like a like a big, uh, huge white light. That's all I can tell you. And it just came into me. And I started understanding the scriptures, understanding the Bible, seeing miracles. Um, you know, the anointing of God, the, the, the glory of God, you know, the virtue of God. Those things are important, you know. Um, we have his grace and his mercy upon us as far as salvation and everything. But, um, you know, he his presence... You know, Jesus had the presence of God. Um, Jesus would speak as a man. Then the next time he would speak as, a, as God. And that those things, that's the Holy Spirit speaking through Jesus in, in tongues interpretation. You know, if you would uh, read the first book of Corinthians chapter 12, you would see that. Um, those spiritual gifts. So these things are real, you know. And we got to seek those things. we got to seek, seek the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And the anointing of God. And the presence of God in our lives. And the will of God. And we got to speak to them in truth. We got to leave our opinions out. But what we pray for is what we pray for. That's not an opinion. That's a desire. That's something we need or want. So understand the difference. You know, um, there's got to be a point where, and, and, and the, you know, people are under the belief that, you know, God doesn't go to ta the tattoo shops or bars or whatever. And those things are not real at all. Um, God is with us and around us wherever we are. It's just we have to receive him and his will and what he wants. And, you know, again, like I said, his virtue is important. His anointings, what his anointing is what he gives us uh, to work with, you know, the power and the presence in us uh, of God. And the virtue of God is what heals us. And, uh, you know, the, the lady with the issue of blood, I believe it was, touched the garment of Jesus and she was healed. I think it was that one, uh, that miracle. And Jesus said, I felt, felt virtue go out of me who touched me. So um, these things are real, you know. And once that virtue goes out of us, once, once we start getting anointed and that virtue goes out of us, God does healings. It's, it's weird. It's like we're a battery almost. The battery storing up the virtues of God. And when that virtue goes out, you know, I'm extremely tired after that. It's like I worked really hard and I... Um, um, need to take a rest and restore, but uh, I'm always praying for more, uh, more of God, and so I'm going to pray with you about these things that God will intervene. God, I ask you right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, God, manifest in ministry, God, in signs, wonders, and miracles, God, in your presence, God, in your Holy Spirit, God, um, manifest, God, with your Holy Spirit in in me and the people that are watching this video, God, and their families. In my family, God, and all of us, all over the world even, God, manifest right now, God, with your Holy Spirit and give us your virtues and your healing and your your will and your ideas and let us be about your business, not our own business, God, and teach us and help us to, to, to seek you in truth and approach you in truth, God, no matter how terrible the truth might be, God. Bless us, God, and manifest upon us, God, cast out all devils, St. Lucifer, Antichrist, curses, spells, generational curses, witchcraft, everything that you are, I destroy you and I cast you out. Right now you must go and not return, Lucifer, Satan, Antichrist. Now in the name of Jesus, God, we know that an Antichrist spirit is a devil. You know, we know that a demon is an Antichrist spirit. Anything that wants to remove uh, salvation or remove Jesus out of our life and what you did with Jesus, God, and you, anybody that wants to, any demon that wants to remove us from you, God, is an Antichrist spirit. And God, people have the Antichrist spirits. They're rebuking you worldwide, and they have all these fake religions and these religions that they're worshiping devils and everything, God, right now. I renounce it, God. I destroy these things, God. Bring your blessings upon us, God, right now. In the name of Jesus, God, bless us. 
spiritually, financially, mentally, emotionally in our mind, spirit, and body. God bless our organs, our our veins, our every part of our body, our joints, our flesh, you know, organ, everything, everything that we are. God, our our finances. God, come up on us right now, manifest in us, God, that we have all uh, seen, hearing, and knowing of you, God, and. Uh, the Holy Ghost will remind us of everything that that you have said to us, God. We need you right now, God, in the name of Jesus, God. And take us forward, God, and give us that income and that support and that life, God, and life and life more abundantly on earth even. And, and one day take us into the eternal life with you, God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy God. Amen. I hope you received that. I know that's a lot, and I threw it at you really fast. Um, but replay the video if you have to and realize what I'm saying and what's going on. You know, God is a, we have to start somewhere and God is kind of a progression, you know, a progressive, um, uh, progressive seeking and receiving and everybody needs God and everybody, uh, whether they know it or not, you know, and I, I thank you for being here. I, I hope you would subscribe to the channel and I hope this channel blesses you and in information and I hope this prayer blesses you. I pray that the Holy Spirit is up on you right now. And re you're receiving the presence of God right now. God is healing your life and blessing you and manifesting in you. And in your children, your grandchildren, your relatives, everybody that's in your life. In the name of Jesus, God. Thank you, God. Bring us the right spouse um, and friends and surround us with the right kind of people, God. And keep the people that are going to destroy us, God, out. In the name of Jesus, keep the bad influences away, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for being here.